Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for September 23rd, 2018. Well, 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 what a morning we have this morning. Hey, I wanted to take a second. Yesterday, I received a criticism from my uh, about my videos because I used the term be careful too many times. And I got to tell you, um, you may not like the message, but the, uh, the message has been correct <laughs> to be careful. We all as traders have, have a bias. We, we want the market to be a specific way. We want to make money every single day. But when we fail to heed the warnings in the market and we choose to fight against the direction of the market, we obviously suffer uh, tremendous damage to our account. And that's been the, the impetus of, of my being careful uh, statement here over and over and over. We're, we've been showing signs of trouble. We've been showing signs of weakness. Um, support, resistance, and trend. Give us those clues. And if we fail to recognize those, if we fail to follow through, then um, we suffer damage. Now we all have a bias and we all want, you know, we want what we want, but rarely does the market give us exactly what we want. If we just simply learn to respect what the chart is telling us and stop trying to force the market to do what we want it to do, we do a lot better in our trading. So I have been mentioning the term, be careful, be careful, be careful. And I will tell you that I'm going to continue to do that um, as long as it continues to be warranted in the chart. So this morning, those that were careful, that, that heeded that advice, are probably much, much happier than those that did not and chose to fight the direction of the market. Last Friday, um, I mentioned the possibility of a pop and drop pattern, and that was absolutely true as it turned out. I didn't know that for sure. It's not a statement that I can predict. It's just simply what we see in the price action of the chart. I also mentioned that uh, for tomorrow to watch out for extreme volatility, watch for those whipsaws and head fakes. If we take a look at an intraday chart yesterday, we had that in spades. We just kept whipping. We whipped up, gapped up in the morning, turned right around and pulled back, whipped solidly back up, then whipped back down. So all day long was nothing but a display of volatility in the market. And um, if you were not respecting that, you likely um, had a pretty bad day yesterday in trading. So this morning, looking at the market, we are now gapping substantially lower. And anyone that failed to recognize what was going on yesterday are likely in a lot of pain this morning. And I hate to see that. I honestly hate to see that. I never want to see people losing their money because of um, this desire to fight. Now, the reason I'm so sensitive to that, and by the way, someone criticizing me doesn't bother me at all. Um, I think I'm justified in what I've been saying in, in, in these uh, videos in the morning to just exercise extreme caution. Um, but the reason I'm so sensitive to that is because for years and years and years, I had this problem. I had the problem where I would try to impose my will on the market. Let me tell you how that works. You watch your account continuously decline. You're constantly frustrated. And you're always wanting, you're always have that sense of dread in the market when you are fighting the market, when you choose to do that. It took me a long time to figure that out. I, it was really banging my head against the wall for years until I finally realized, you know what, it's a whole lot easier to just work with the direction of the market. And when the charts are showing you caution, you better respect that because um, failure to do so is likely going to uh, be a punishing lesson.
So with that, this morning, Dow Jones Industrial Average gapping down substantially this morning, over 370 points gapping down here this morning. We at one point were down 400 points here in the pre-market so we're gapping down creating a new low in the market that is going to break us down through the 200 day moving average not a good sign here for the market if we take a look at the spy spy also breaking down this is now showing us a failure of the 200 day moving average we failed through rallied back to resistance and have failed to a lower low here in the market not a good sign and we could actually trigger a little bit of panic uh, this selling this morning now I know there's a lot of folks out there saying well now's the time to rush in and buy the dip I, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to um, just jump in with both feet this morning with that thought it's very easily to believe that we could see more panic selling and let's realize that the next support level in the spy is all the way down here about uh, 268 somewhere in that area where we could actually come to support remember it's rare when a market will just stop in midair someplace we will usually test eventually a support level so keep in mind some more selling could occur here as well let's take a look at the queues Q is gapping down below its 200 day moving average queues holding up um, however not breaking to a new low possibly keying in off of this support that would be a good sign if the queues can kind of key in and hold onto that price support right there and IWM IWM has been sickly anyway and now um, gapping to a new low this morning and could move substantially lower to find a a good support here to rally from so Without question, a, a brutal uh, wake up this morning with a reminder that the market's going to do exactly what the market's going to do. And there isn't anything we can do about that. If we take a look at the VIX, the VIX is going to likely spike substantially this morning. Um, remember, we can go up really, really fast in the VIX. So if we get follow through selling this morning, don't be surprised to see the VIX really spike. This will make it really complicated for those who trade options because implied volatility will shoot through the roof for a period of time and making all options very expensive. And if you try to trade those and happen to catch them at the wrong time and that volatility starts to retreat a little bit, it will be almost impossible to make money on them because of the collapse in volatility. So be really careful on how you um, approach this market this morning. I would expect huge whipsaws. I would expect very, very fast price action this morning. And if you turn on a futures chart and watch an intraday chart of futures, you will likely see like the Dow will likely gap and jump prices throughout the morning um, just just gap down um, on an intraday very short term chart gapping through prices with these quick price moves so it's not a place for the average retail trader to be it's really not even a very good place for a a, a fast um, a day trader because the moves will be so extreme so be very, very cautious about how you approach today. It may be better to just stand aside and wait until this cools off a little bit. Let's take a look at T2122, that four week new high, or, or excuse me, four week new high, new low ratio. This is suggesting right now that we are in that bullish reversal zone, this gap down this morning will obviously make that an extreme and would suggest that we're reaching that point where we could see um, some buyers kind of stepping in to try and pick up those good good buys um, but I would be really careful about doing that as a retail trader because we could see that extreme whip today and unless you're willing to set through um, possible 100 150 200 point swings intraday that could be really uh, painful uh, for most retail traders to try and set through so think about that when we look at this I, I would suspect 
we're reaching that oversold condition where a bounce could occur, but um, I certainly wouldn't want to bet the farm on it. Let's um, take a look at the economic calendar today. If we look at the economic calendar, um, we have a parade of Fed speakers today, but that's about it. Um, we've got the Red Book this morning, um, a Fed speaker here at 930, and then the Richmond Fed Manufacturing Index, which isn't expected to move the market. We have three bond auctions going on today and then four or more Fed speakers. And you can see that carries on tomorrow with multiple Fed speakers tomorrow. But I don't expect too many people are going to be keying in on those uh, economic reports today unless those Fed speakers really start challenging the president or, or really trying to stir the pot there on interest rate increases. Probably be um, uh, not much going on. Everyone's going to be uh, mostly affected by price action. Now, we have a slew of earnings today. Over 130 companies reporting earnings, and they have been coming out this morning. One of the things that moved the market substantially lower was the Caterpillar report. Caterpillar missing, apparently, on earnings. And you can see um, Caterpillar gapping substantially lower this morning. Pretty brutal. And if those earnings continue to roll out that way, it's going to be really, really tough for the market to um, get a very good response back higher. So everyone, I'm going to repeat it again, even though I'm going to get criticized. I highly recommend everyone be very, very careful about how you trade this market and protect your capital. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a great day. I want to wish you a profitable day. It may be challenging today, but um, I still want to wish that to you. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. I really, really, truly do appreciate all of the kind words and things things that everybody and everyone's been saying. And if um, you could help me out, just clicking those thumbs up buttons really helps a lot in uh, making these algorithms uh, show these videos to more folks. So I, I do appreciate that. I don't make any money on these. I never will make money on these. Um, that's never my intention. And um, I share this as just part of a way to try and pay it forward and to help others. Hopefully, um, do better in their trading um, without all of the pain and suffering that um, I experienced coming up as a trader. So if you find them helpful, please always feel free to share them with any friends and family. Everyone, take care of yourselves. Be careful today. And we'll talk to you very, very soon, bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one, everyone.